nearly three hours on the court today. <laughs> so thank you for t taking some time. I know, I know you're probably tired to join us. Uh, tough match out there. Obviously, it was very tight. And then you won seven games in a row, eight of the last nine. How did you get it done? What changed? Um, I think I felt like in the first set I lost first set, but I thought that I wasn't, like I was still in the match. Um, I was playing some good shots and bad shots. Like it was just a lot of adjusting, and it took me a little bit longer than I would have hoped. Obviously, it would have been nicer to get the first set. Um, but I felt like I was still in the match, so I think that's kind of what carried me. And I was like, I just need to be patient and make sure to go for my, go for my shots when the opportunity comes. And I just waited it out, and yeah. Sloan, let's talk about your fitness out there. It seemed to be quite hot out there today, but you looked your strongest in the third set. Where would you rate your fitness, sort of uh, where you've been in your career? You looked fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I think it's really good now. Um, I've put way more emphasis on the fitness and less on the tennis, just because I think just in general, I've had a tough time like in the year overall. And I think tennis has always been my outlet. But I think now just being able to refocus and get fit, get into really good shape and be really proud of that has been, you know, a highlight of my year. And yeah, the tennis is kind of slowly following, but the fitness is good. Well, listen, it all it all starts with fitness. Saw so you doing some wall sits with your whole team, so you got them in on the whole yes. fun, too. Everyone uh, has to be fit. <laughs> everyone on team Stevens has to yeah. be fit. First set and a half, you mentioned few errors creeping in here and there, but then not only did you cut down the errors, but you started to hit some huge balls, too. Step more into the baseline. Um, the evolution of your game, you seem to have a lot of tools in the toolbox these days. Uh, how are you feeling with picking and selecting at the right times in matches? Yeah, I mean, I've had to adjust a lot over the last couple of years. Just a, lo a lot of things happening, game changing, low confidence. Like you kind of try to figure out whatever it is that you're like, oh, this isn't working. I need to change this. I need to do that. And I think for me now, it's just kind of solidifying and finding that consistency in all of my shots and getting that confidence back. Um, I think this year, like I said, I put a lot of emphasis on the fitness. So that's been really solid. And even when I'm not playing my best, like I know I'm not going to like cramp up and get tired. So I guess <laughs> <laughs> that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, being able to use all of the shots and utilize everything um, has, been, has been key and just kind of getting that confidence back. Oh, you've got everything working right now. This is your 10th time here at Indian Wells. You made your main oh draw God. debut here. 11 years ago. I'm so old. <laughs> you're not. So you're, you're, no, 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 don't say that. Gosh. Experience. Yes. So, so what are the memories that, that go through your mind when you, when you walk into Tennis Paradise here? Oh, my God, so many great memories. Um, I remember, I think the first time I played here, Jose Garris was our USTA, he was head of the USTA at the time, and we would practice at his place, literally the best food in the world. Um, <laughs> I remember just coming here, my grandparents always coming every time I played. Um, I remember all my family coming, like my Uncle Ronald came today. Like, there's just like so many good memories and feelings, and it's so close to home, and it's just really good vibes every time. It is good vibes. Mm -hmm. It's a great spot. Listen, you see all the players smiling, having a good time <laughs> yeah. here. I usually stop by, get a little In-N-Out burger yes. on the way here from LA. So yes. it's a thing. Yes, it's definitely a thing. Maybe some Nobu. <laughs> Who knows? I know. I was like, when do they? What time do they close? I was like, are they open? <laughs> you might catch me there tonight. <laughs> um, thank you so much for taking some time and joining us. Congratulations on the win. You got Jesse Pagula next. You're both Billy Jean Cup teammates now so congratulations yes. on that as well yes, thank you yeah super excited um haven't played on a fed cup team in a while so this is going to be exciting um a different format so i think it'll be a little bit more it's like more of a pressure situation but um i think all the girls that are in the team have been playing well and i'm um, just excited to get there and represent the usa all right fantastic seeing you as always sloan thank best you. of luck moving forward thanks